Hi, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com, and I want to help you rehabilitate your tennis elbow. Tennis elbow is one of those injuries that's really frustrating and very difficult to get rid of oftentimes. And that's why I'm really thankful that I was joined for a series of three videos with a professional athletic trainer named Ryan Stevens. He takes us step by step and he's going to show us exactly the exercises that he uses with his clients that he works with in person, ranging from average, you know, recreational athletes all the way on up to high level professional athletes. And in this first video, we're going to cover stretching exercises that you can use to begin to start to rehabilitate that tennis elbow. The first stretch we're going to do, we're just going to target the wrist extensors, flexors, and the supinators. Um, of the wrist. So first thing is just palm forward, okay? All right, up, down, and turn around are the three stretches. First one is up, you're gonna be pulling on the top of the fingers to get that stretch along the bottom side of the forearm, okay. all right? With these stretches, you wanna hold them for 10 to 15 seconds, multiple reps, two to three times ideally, to get a really good stretch. This is also something you can do if you go up against the wall to, to get a good stretch as well with this pulling the fingertips back so you get the tendons through the hand as well as the forearm muscles with this stretch. If somebody at home is struggling with tennis elbow down at the bottom there um, and performing a stretch like, that, like this kind of makes it angry, you know, mm -hmm. if, if it's painful, is this something that they should be doing? This is a stretch where you don't want to do past the point of pain. If you do have some discomfort, okay. you want to just stretch to the point where you feel tension, not so much pain. Okay. And, and very slow progressive hold into that stretch, okay. um, holding it for the length of time. If it does inflame it and make it more painful, even with backing off and doing it lighter, then again, you, you don't want to do that. You probably want to follow up with a medical professional to okay. find out what's going on. Um, and and the, that, this is stretching the primary muscles that help to grip the racket. So this is a very important stretch. Okay, on the flip side of that, you're going to go down. Okay, so same arm position, but now you're pulling your hand down. Okay, first with his palm open, so he's gonna really get a good stretch through his forearm here in the back of the hand. But then also, you can also curl your fingers underneath with the same kind of stretch. That's gonna place more tension on the tendon um, on the back of the hand. So you get the, the muscular stretch with the hand open, and then when you pull the fingers in, you get okay. more of that tension across the back side of the hand too, so you're getting the entire length of the the tendon and muscle stretched. Are, are these good for wrist uh, mobility as well? Definitely, and okay. it's gonna improve your flexibility and your mobility of your wrist um, with uh, both extension and flexion. And if you're doing your stretches and the mobility is not improving, it may be a joint issue, in which case you would wanna follow up with a, a physical therapist or athletic trainer uh, or a medical professional who could address that issue for you if the stretches are not enough. Okay. Um, and then the last one is up like this again, and then you turn it around so that you're getting your, your rotational muscles of your forearm stretched, okay? So pulling the fingers back in this supinated position is going to stretch the muscles that assist with turning your wrist over when you're striking the ball. Um, and you can even, as you're doing this, rotate your arm even more to get even more of a stretch okay. into that rotational component with those muscles. And same thing, 10 to 15 second holds two to three times. Um, should be feeling a muscular stretch. If you're feeling a pinch in the joint, you shouldn't be jamming into it. It's a more gentle stretch, and if it doesn't resolve with just range of motion, then again, looking into a, a professional to help you with that. Okay. So those are three stretches that are really important to do um, both before and, but more importantly, after a lot of playing to keep the muscles at their, their normal resting length once they're fatigued, they will tighten up and they'll shorten and you want to make sure that you're, you're keeping them at their regular length so it's not leading to spasm and, and inflammation. Okay. All right, so that brings us to the end of video one of three. There's two more coming. I'm going to put links to them somewhere right around this video as soon as they're available. And both videos two and three focus on strengthening exercises. Once you've let your arm rest a little bit and you've started to use these stretching exercises, to get the pain and inflammation down, then you wanna to start to strengthen that area of your body. Only once you get to that point, by the way, uh, be careful that you don't overdo it at first. And that's what we're gonna show you in video two and three. So watch for those. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like it right down below. And if there's any other 
types of injuries that you'd like to see Ryan and I cover, do me a favor and leave that in the comments down below because we did a whole bunch of videos together and I, I want to get a good feel for what people are looking for, what topics and what areas. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll be talking to you again very soon. Want to serve more like the pros? Find out how as I compare Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic in my free five video course. Get it now at freeservecourse.com. That's freeservecourse.com.